Now we're going to talk about the swing arc. A lot of hitters complicate things based on information overload by their coaches. A lot of hitters, a, a lot of hitters confuse themselves by thinking too much. And the coach hasn't given you information overload in your brain. The location of the pitch should tell your eyes what your hands should do. We talked about it in the belt buckle, belly button segment. And I got to keep my belly button and belt buckle on the ball to a certain location. So your swing arc really should be super, super simple if you can register location and pick it up out of the hand. Don't wait till it gets on you. That's too late. You got to see it out there and react to it and have fast twitch muscles with your hand to really boom, fire the barrel out there and get the head out. So if this pitch is inside, I'm right-handed. If this pitch is inside, I got to throw my hands to third base. Okay? Understanding barrel awareness, you got to know how to get the barrel on the baseball. If you, if your hands are too slow, I don't care what level you play at, you're not going to get there. So, location of the pitch tells my eyes what my hands should do. So I see this pitch is inside. I got to make contact out in front of my front foot. Got to get the bat head out there. So watch what happens if I don't adjust my hands to the location. If I want to hit this inside pitch, but I throw my hand straight to the pitcher, where's my barrel? Where's my barrel at? Look where the barrel is. It's over here. You're going to get jammed. That's not good. I like strawberry jam, grape jam, but you don't want to get jammed as a hitter. Is it going to happen? Yes, it is. But should it happen? No, you don't want to let that happen. So this inside pitch, I must take my hands to the third baseman where he's playing. Boom. When I'm going to go hit, boom, there it is. My hands go to the third baseman. My belly button's there. If I ever set this barrel down, there's a sweet spot. Boom. I got some power on that. He throws me down the middle because I read location out of the hand. I got to take my hands to the shortstop. I see location out of the hand. Boom. There's my hands to the shortstop. And then there's the barrel. Okay? If it's outside, I see location out of the hand. I let it get deep. I can let it get to the hitting zone where I want it first because we teach patiently aggressive system here. Patiently aggressive, letting, meaning let it get to where it wants to get to first, and then you're aggressive. So if that pitch is thrown outside, i got to throw my hands to the second baseman where he's playing. Okay? If I can do that, all I'm going to do is find the sweet spot. So if I can understand my swing arc based on where he throws me, you just got to know where to throw your hands. A lot of coaches are just going to tell you, turn on it, get the head out, let it get deep, let it travel, uh, drive it. Those are all good and dandy and everything, but how, coach, how do I do that? Why am I consistently not finding this. Don't be afraid, stupid, dumb, embarrassed to ask your coach to show you how. What do you mean? So, a lot of coaches will just tell you what to do. I don't feel that's a really good coach. There's a lot of coaches in the world who are really great coaches because they teach. They don't just tell you, they teach. Teaching involves showing how to do something. I like tutors. I love tutors because they teach you how to solve problems. That's why you hire them, right? So when you hire a hitting instructor, pitching instructor, whatever it is, or you choose a college to go play for or a select team, find out if they teach. Telling you, yelling at you, that's not teaching you. That's just that's just telling you all the things you're doing wrong without giving you a solution. We need to be doctors and prescribe problems with our hitters, but then we must give them a prescription to go and fix whatever is going wrong. Make sense? So, 
Once again, we'll show you again. And inside pitch, I got to throw my hands to the third baseman if I want to get this barrel on the ball and get the head out. From here, after I do get this, this top, my, my top hand has to continue driving through extension. Okay? You see a lot of hitters, while they, while they really hook this ball, they go, to, they, go to, they go to hit this and their hands keep going this way. And that's that pitch that you don't keep fair. So if I can run two in on you real quick and you can get those get two strikes for me and you really hook the knees and they don't stay fair, now I'll break you off one of these sliders on the outside corner, hard, sharp, late. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Done. Learn how to adjust your hands. So pitch down the middle. I'm going to take my hand straight to the shortstop because I recognize location. And I'm just going to get the head out, boom, shortstop, there it is. I'm strong here. Now I can really try through that, okay? So hands, shortstop, pitch down the middle. There's my barrel. There's my sweet spot. Outside pitch, take my hands to second base where they're playing, boom. My hands are going straight to second base. I still have arm bend in here because I let it travel. I let it get deep enough. That's what your coaches mean when they say let it travel, let it get beat. You want to catch balls where you still have bend in your top hand, in your arm. So I can now drive through it to get to this power V here. Okay, so if you're catching balls too early and your coach is saying let it get beat, let it travel, that means you're probably making contact way out front and your arms are fully extended. You can't do anything with this pitch. You cannot drive this, okay? There's no power in this for you to really get the bat head accelerated through this. You're already at maximum extension, you're done. Now your hands are gonna roll. So let it get deep enough, let it travel, um, and just trust yourself, okay? Trust your hands more than you trust your shoulders. You don't need these to hit. You do not need your shoulders to hit. You need your hand. Uh, we talked about in our earlier segment, Floyd Mayweather, right? They gave him a lot of money because he trusts his hands. He believes in his hands. He doesn't care about his shoulders as a boxer. He don't care. Yeah, he works them out and does ropes or does whatever he does for his training, but he doesn't need these to knock you out. He needs these. So you need these to start knocking these balls off the wall and out of the park. So one more time. Inside pitch, I'm right-handed, go throw my barrel, my hands to third base, there's barrel. Throw my hands shortstop, on the middle pitch, there's the barrel. Throw my hands to second base, on the outside pitch, there it is. So, know your swing arc, know how to adjust your hands, and you have a shot.